or you could go to the border and be there with a billionaire who is going to try to take his knowledge that he learned from trying to land on Mars and send satellites into the sky and dig tunnels under the ground and build electric cars on our on our roads. <laughs> and he's going to take some of his knowledge as he live streams his appearance at the border, arguably the number one issue plaguing this country that even Democrats got to admit. The, except for one, Ayanna Presley, mm -hmm. that it is a problem in this country that needs to be addressed. So he put on a T-shirt and he headed down and yeah. let X Live stream it. He went there with Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez, and he's trying to get a hold of this. Do not be surprised if Musk has a way to solve this problem. This is a live stream, his unfiltered visit with the Texas congressman. You know, he lives 200, a little more than 200 miles away from from where this is all happening in Eagle yeah. Pass, which is the kind of the epicenter of the migrant crisis right now, a tiny little town of 28,000 people. They've been totally overwhelmed with more than 7,500 in the past two days coming across the border. So here's Elon Musk in his black cowboy hat. You can see through his mirrored aviator glasses, he's live streaming his visit. He wants you to see what he's seeing. Watch. I'm uh, at Eagle Pass, uh, just arrived, and um, we're, we're just gonna go around and, and talk to the um, the major officials uh, and, and law enforcement and whatnot that uh, are here as and, and just kind of eyeball the situation get a sense for what's going on this is the raw feed you're seeing right here so um, all right with that oh and I should I, let, actually let me preface this by also saying that um, I am uh, you know as, as an immigrant to the United States I'm extremely pro-immigrant um, and I believe that uh, we need a greatly expanded uh, legal immigration system. Uh, and that we should uh, let anyone in the country who is hardworking and honest and uh, will be a contributor to the United States. Uh, we should have expedited legal approval for anyone who, who sort of falls in that category. Um, but then by the same token, we, we should also not be allowing uh, people in the country if they're, if they're breaking the law. That doesn't make sense. The law is there for a reason. But I think we want to do both things, uh, ex smooth out legal immigration and, and then uh, uh, so I stop the, uh, you know, a, a, sort of a flow, a flow of people that is uh, of such magnitude that is actually we're leading to a collapse of social services, uh, where uh, even uh, America's largest city, New York, is buckling under the pressure of uh, just how many um, illegal immigrants are are going to New York. If, if New York can't handle it, well, pretty much uh, no part of the country can. And we're full. We are full. And, you know, he's a Texan. Uh, he's got uh, pr uh, two businesses, one down by Brownsville Lives in uh, Texas. along the coast. Mm -hmm. he, he's got a house, small, modest, <laughs> in uh, Austin, Texas. He, you know, he favors uh, legal immigration because he came here to this country from South Africa legally. And that's one of the reasons why we just heard his two-prong approach. Essentially, he gave uh, the Elon Musk uh, treatment. He said uh, there should be expedited legal approval to welcome hardworking and honest migrants, but you should bar entry for those who are breaking the law. And that means all the thousands who come across each and every day. The day before he went down to Eagle Pass, he posted on X. He said, we actually do need a wall and we need to require people to have some shred of evidence to claim asylum to enter. He said, as everybody is doing that, it is a hack that you can literally Google to know exactly what to say. And so that's what's going on. He's saying that these people who are coming in, many of them uh, working with cartels to get to the United States, they know exactly what to say because the federal law says if somebody says this, you got to let them in. And Lawrence, that's what they're doing. Yeah, and 90% of them, once they go through the process, don't even qualify right. for asylum. Um, this is AOC. She has some words on X. She says, What's funny about this photo? No one said anything was funny, but okay. <laughs> the House is holding that important funny, votes Lawrence. in D.C. tonight. People are scrambling to avoid a shutdown, but this Republican congressman, who represents the district, decided to skip town to joyride with a billionaire when his own party has just a single-digit margin and needs his vote. So all of a sudden, she's concerned about, is she going to vote for the border security? That is going to be in that appropriations. Right. Uh, what city price? says she rep represent? New York. What, what is being affected right. outside the border city? Right. What is affecting me? Right. None. And, and she refuses to go back to the border, although right. here's this photo of AOC. This is her during the Trump administration. Yeah. Crying outside, hugging everyone. Meanwhile, we have kids that are going through razor wire. She hasn't hugged them. Uh, she hasn't gone back to the border when the kids 
I think right. last week there were two that drowned. Yep. I mean, it's just week after week after week. But apparently, Brian, uh, Representative Ayanna Presley says um, there's really no crisis. Yeah, look at even Jake Tapper can't believe her words. Listen to this. Our border is secure. And we're in the midst of a humanitarian crisis, and we have to fix a broken system. Wait, and we also need you think to it is secure? You think the border is secure, or it is not secure? I believe that we are in the midst of a humanitarian crisis, and there needs to be federal investment to support those migrant families. Do you think that the border is secure? I just do, is that what you said? Yes, the border is secure. But if you have millions of undocumented migrants coming into the country, how is the border secure? Jake, this is not a new crisis. Um, it does require uh, more political will. That's a good point. What did you, what did you just say to us? Yeah, so it is a crisis now. I but mean, yet uh, it's secure. So yeah. which is it? Is it a crisis or is it a border that's secure? Like it, she says, she's the only one saying that. We're seeing it's, record it's, numbers. We're it, seeing thousands of people cross every single day. Look at the images. A two-month-old baby was crossing. It's just good to see Elon Musk and Representative Gonzalez doing the job that President Biden should do, that Kamala Harris should do. We aren't seeing those images. We aren't seeing them visit the border. We did see AOC visit and start crying when she saw the kids in cages, even though that was a Barack Obama mm -hmm. thing, because uh, Donald Trump was in office yeah. and not Joe Biden. I think it. I think it's both things. You were asking, is it a secure or is it a crisis? I think they think it is a secure crisis because they've got a handle on it. They're, they're letting the people in. There you can see once again uh, where the uh, Border Patrol cut the razor wire because there were so many people and ultimately the border patrol doesn't want anybody to drown they they if people are going to come that far they're going to let them in and then they're going to process them they just can't keep up with the talking yeah. points though brian senator P patty murray uh chairwoman of the appropriations committee this is what she told reporters she says there are some colleagues that are concerned about more border security john tester from montana who's going to be in a heated race said the border needs some attention of course gavin newsom was just on hannity on wednesday and said that uh, there are some challenges at the border. So every Democrat that has a brain right now because they know it's going to be a big issue in the next election, Brian, are acknowledging that there's some sort of problem right. at the border. Yeah, there's a problem. How about, how about a town of 28,000, as you mentioned, Angelie, with 8,000 a day crossing? We're almost at the levels of all of 2022 right now and 2023 of illegals who have come across, let alone the gotaways. So if you are the president of the United States and you want to get four more years mysteriously, yet the economy economy's not good. Uh, the inter foreign policy doesn't rate high. You don't have uh, a good rating uh, right now, approval rating overall. What do you do when you lose head-to-head -head with Governor Haley by six and to most polls to the former President Trump? You have to quickly vilify your opponent. But first point out something that is not happening, and that is bipartisanship. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.